Okay, wait. You never Dang explained what banging. happened to oh. you this weekend. Oh, man. I've been waiting for you to tell me this. By the way, first three-hour show, apparently. But yeah, we're tell three us hours in. I'm sorry, nah, Bob. We never do this. Second time. time. We never do this this huh? long, bro. This is I second time. For three hours. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that, remember the academics fight? It was like five hours. And I, you and Cam, well, I, were sitting there. I wasn't here. I never want to do that I was again. watching that was at crazy. home. crazy. That was wild. Bro, just li- watching him, this nigga just yell at Adam for hours straight was crazy. But he was doing that for entertainment. Of course, like, but he, he, yeah. it was just crazy. Okay, so are you going to tell what happened? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I didn't come back to life. Yeah, I, bro, I, I, was, I thought I was about to check out. Scariest shit ever. Okay, what? You were at home and you so, just felt weird? So this is like what? It's the caffeine. A week after my birthday weekend. I still ain't got like the turn up out of my system. My homegirl, shout out to my homegirl Damo. She's like, hey, it's her birthday. She wants oh, so to go. So she's this- the one who killed you. Nah. No. <laughs> she's like, hey, it's my birthday. She wanna go to this little hookah lounge. So I'm like, all right, I got this party bus company now. I will come, I'll come bring the party bus. So I bring the party bus. Nigga, she- you got a party bus company? You ain't tapped me in yet. We've been, we've been. I, I, went I thought time. we been told y'all that. We went what to Compton f- and we uh took we uh I knew y'all took a party bus there, but I didn't know you like owned the party bus. I mean I'm a partner. What the fuck? Plug me I'll in. I get a percentage, okay, okay. man. Anyway, so you know y'all get the party bus. But nah, so I get I get her the party bus, everybody gets on there, everybody's drinking, we turn up, we go to motherfucking um this nice ass hookah lounge, right? Mm-hmm. Turned up at the hookah lounge, they give us this room. I'm getting turned up. I'm like, man, fuck this. I talk to the people, let me upgrade the room. I upgrade the room, you feel me? More liquor there. All they got is sake, though. So I mm. I bought like two bottles of sake, and you know sake, you don't really feel it like it's that. It's different. It's just like a wine. Yeah, beer. it's different. Yeah. So on top of all the other liquor I had, I'm drinking. Man, I probably drank like 24 sake shots, like back uh, to back. You're crazy. Yeah, and I left. I had left my car here. 24. It's weaker though, right? But still though. No, no, it's still a lot. I'm just saying, but, like. Yeah, but I was to the point to where I was like. I shouldn't drink no more. And, and like, when I get like that, it'd be like, that's bad. Yeah, I've never heard you even yeah, come close bro. to that. I'm talking about like, I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, I've been doing too much. It's time to tap out. Yeah. So I fucking, you know, we drop everybody off. I go to uh, my cousin's house and I Uber over here because I left my car over here that Friday. But before I left, I probably had two bangs here. You feel me? Bang energies. And then I went to the uh, the spot and I probably had like two or three Red Bulls, bro. We suing bang. Nah, it ain't bang fault. But can't I had, bang no more. I probably had like five energy drinks on top of having all of this fucking liquor. I knew you wasn't. And it's meant an to bang. upper and a downer. <laughs> you bro. So it kind of fucks you up. And I get in the house at four in the morning, right? My baby mama calls me at six a.m., bro, and she's like, "Hey, she's like, are you here? Whatever." Boom, boom. I'm like, "Yeah." I get up and I just feel weird as fuck. And I didn't have panic attacks before. I didn't have anxiety attacks before. I'm like, this ain't no anxiety attack or panic attack. And my dad had a heart attack before, so I always be like, you think about that. Yeah. I always think about that shit because you know it can happen to it can happen to me one day. So I'm like, this shit feel weird. So I'm like, I go to the bathroom, put some water on my face. I go sit on the couch. I'm like, nah, something wrong. Yeah. Heart start beating like crazy. Damn. I'm like, I tell, hey, call the paramedics now. I just feel like, like uh, Bobby Lamb said, he was like, you feel like he was in third person? I felt like I was in third person. You're like three feet back almost. Yes, from, from in, in my body. You Why know what did I'm you saying? say that? Outside. Oh, yeah, outside. I've had like caffeine overdoses. <laughs> Not me too one time, really? honestly, but like. Nigga, but. That's the new wave. But I'm like, hey, call the paramedics. You feel me? And then I, I just, I'm like, I need to stay up because I feel myself like about to pass out. I put scald in hot water. In the shower, I'm jumping in and out of that motherfucker like to try to stay up, wait for the uh, the ambulance to come. And nigga, I'm nigga, I'm, I'm trying to walk. I fall. You feel me? Damn, My bro. baby mama is like, she's like shook. She's like, what the fuck? I'm like, I think I'm having a heart attack. She's tripping out. She called my mom. My mom was like, "What the fuck are you?" Why is she my, calling your mom? What's your mom you were on, like? Well, the, par- well, the paramedics, the paramedics That's what is it coming. Like. You don't yeah, do coke. No, I don't do coke. But the paramedics came, and I was in the back of the paramedics, and I was telling them, hey, don't let me die. Please don't let me die. I got kids. Damn, bro. I was scared like that. I'm like, I got Damn, kids, bro. man. Don't let me die. I'm like, keep me up. Keep me up. I'm like, don't let me die. Don't let me die. They're like, all right, all right, all right. Whatever. They checking me. Make sure I ain't diabetic and shit like that. They rushed me to the hospital. You feel me? They give me uh, two IVs. And I'm telling them, I'm like, man, y'all don't let me die, man. Keep me up. Keep me up. You feel me? I'm like, literally... 
moving around, like trying to. And they like, what drugs have you had? I ain't had no drugs. Like, I ain't had no drugs. I had a lot of liquor. They like, what drugs did you have? I'm like, I ain't like, had no Bro, I didn't take no fucking drugs. But yeah. then they asked me, they was like, did you smoke? I said, I smoked earlier. They was like, we think it's synthetic weed. I'm like, nah, we ain't smoking no yeah, synthetic weed. Right. I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? You definitely oh downtown God. with the fucking That's crack just smoking Nigga, fake I smoked, weed. I smoked here with y'all. That was the only time I smoked that day. <laughs> <laughs> did we lace you with the K2 pack? <laughs> but bro, that's what they were saying at first. And I'm like, nah, nah. But then they checked me. They was like, oh, your potassium level was like super low. And they said I was dangerously dehydrated. And yeah. I didn't know when your potassium level gets too low, Stay you dangerous. can go on cardiac arrest. I didn't know that shit. Stay wow. dangerously oh dehydrated. Yeah, I didn't know that shit. So they was like, that's why you feel like that. And they gave me two IVs. They gave me magnesium. And they gave me um, some potassium fucking pills or whatever. And then... Yeah, let me out. I just think it's so crazy that we're so used to these rappers dying from like bullets or like <laughs> lean, and then AD almost dies off of like white claw and Smirnoff right. shots. No, it's from the caffeine, the bang. And no, that. It's just, it's you got banged to death. No, it's from his potassium levels, and because of the yeah, dehydration. But, well, I didn't, but I didn't That's know that your potassium yeah. levels get low, you could die from that. If yeah. you died from lack of potassium after popularizing banana. <laughs> I'm sorry, the irony would be too much for me to take. Honestly, I would want people to laugh. Banana. That, that no, is, honestly, I, I had like me a... Laugh so bro, much but I was wow. so dehydrated that I couldn't even like produce spit. Like in my eyes, it was dry as fuck. Well, like, thank God damn. you didn't give everyone head. <laughs> oh my God, bro, this shit's not funny, Adam. Damn, man. Okay, my bad. But I've never been that, I've never been that scared in my life, bro. Bro, imagine if you died for drinking... And your kids had to grow up uh, dad because you were drinking. Bro, that's Come all on. I, that's all I kept thinking about, though. I was like, man, stupid, bro. Yeah. I you, thought I was out of here, though. If I you're going sad. to push your fucking body to the limit of how much alcohol you can drink, you have to also pair that with eating reasonably, not consuming insane amounts of caffeine, yes. and drinking a lot of water. And me and caffeine really don't mix. So I'm like, right now, I'm off of energy drinks. And K2. Yeah. I mean, bro, I'm, I'm stopping a lot of shit. Because all I kept thinking about, I was like, man, I got so many people that I got to take care of and that count on me and shit like that. It'd yeah. be a fucking bummer, bro. Mm. Like, nah. Dog. My mom was mad. Like, we got to replace you with RJ or something? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Because it's two letters? Uh, they're just like from the same era or something. <laughs> they were you're on gonna, the same double XL cover. You're going to so. <laughs> bring, no, you're going to bring Bosco? Bob Lamb's, Bob Lamb's like, Bob Lamb's AD was on the double XL cover. Oh, shit. I, like, I should have known that. I was like, fuck, I should have tapped in. Bosco. Bosco was on your double XL cover, too, for show. Bosco? For show That oh was like the God. same era of fucking LA rappers. For no, show. it was not. Who would be on your double XL cover? Ned. People he beefed with? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Ned? Hey, shout out to my boy Ned, man. Shout out my nigga Ned. Who else, Who else would be on your fucking uh, I don't know. Chapo? Oh, this is so good. This is such a good game to just like create a. Who will be on yours? <laughs> yeah, like vanilla Lil ice. Pump. Uh, uh, no, yes. Lil Pump. Vanilla no. ice. Lil <laughs> Van- Pump. Vanilla Wait, ice. Uh, uh, are we talking about 2021? Limp Biscuit. We're just talking about like if you <laughs> and the cl- clown posse. When you come up, the people that you <laughs> come up around the same time as, they uh, have to be no on. Cut. Ain't no cut. You're going to be fucked up. They came up like 30 years before. I was listening to Saint Clown Posse when I was like 12. <laughs> Fred Durst, shit. Fred Durst, Fred Durst, Fred Durst, good. Kid no Rock. Cap. No, no, no. You're misusing the term. <laughs> Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Baba Lamb is like, you dig? Lail Hansen. No, you're like, Lail Hansen. you're after Lail Hansen in the YouTube, like, come up age. You know, she came up like two years before you and then deleted her is. existence. Lail Hansen, you don't know her? Oh, you're Bro, really great. I got a homie at Lou Hansen. Lil Hands? <laughs> I swear to God. He got Lil Hands from the hood. But he, po- but he probably got the He got like the little scary movie hands. I, I'm you know sorry, but I thought hands? the thing where you said you had to drive to out that I said, thank God you didn't give him one head. I thought that was really funny. That I know I funny. apologize, but I take it back. I'm going to show you my homie Lil Hand Loke. I swear to God. You're going to be like, what the fuck? You know the first person that He want to be a YouTuber too. The, girl, the first hand job I ever got in my life was from my girlfriend at the time who was missing some fingers. That's hot. Can so I, can was I, I <laughs> jerked off by like this? But, was but it better or worse? It was the other hand. I got the normal hand, but Damn. she was missing but like, baby, fingers. spread them. I want to lo- know how she's living you now. Probably, you could probably do like some... Can I, can I relate to AD's story instead of talking about jacking off I or bet she got on the fentanyl. What? Yeah. Can I, yeah, can that's I, what I thought. I thought somebody drugged me, bro. I thought I got some fentanyl. Oh, no. Yeah. I also had a... I mean, it wasn't as intense as where I like an called an the ambulance, hand, but... Was this when you went missing? No, this was literally yesterday, like two days ago. Oh, shit. Um, I haven't, I hadn't been like drinking or like doing coke and shit like that for like a couple weeks now. And I don't know, I was just kind of in like a weird mood, like kind of like, I don't know, like my mom's health is kind of like, 
declining in front of me and it's like it's really hard for me to handle sometime and my friends were uh visiting from the bay as soon as i got there i had like six shots but of like tequila like off rip mm. and i started drinking and i was like damn like i haven't done coke in like a while i'm like not a while but like you know like like a month almost at by this point and i'm like fuck do i really want to do that right now but i was drunk and i was like fuck it so got some coke end up doing more coke all this other shit um, I didn't want to drive home, so I like I stayed at my homegirl's crib. But then I just ended up doing coke there until like the fucking daytime, basically. Sometimes I don't house fun those coke. like stay up till seven in the morning, sweating like a wrestler. Nah, it was past seven a.m. It was like fucking like twelve p.m. <laughs> oh my and, god! Yeah, yeah. And then um, I'll go home, and I was like, like once you're that level of intoxicated, it's like it's hard to not think about. What if this is that one time? What if, like, whatever the fuck? So I was already, like, feeling kind of weird. All right, like, one of my homies told me he had to Narcan himself because he took a fucking fake perk on accident and he had oh, to shit, stab man. himself with the Narcan. And he was telling me how it felt before he narcan himself. And I almost wanted to call him and be like... I, I didn't, like, necessarily, like, feel, like, bad, but it's just, like, I've heard so many stories recently, too, about people doing coke and then, like, they go to sleep and just never wake the fuck back up. I got friends that that, that got laced with fentanyl who who died from that shit, That's bro. what I'm saying, bro. And it's like... What does a fake perk entail? I mean, just... just like, it's stronger? Put fentanyl is it, in it. Yeah, it's just... That's how everyone is dying right now. Yeah, fentanyl. People, no, I knew that. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, so I have some just, friends who passed away from that, too. Yeah, so it's like... I was just laying in bed. Like, I didn't necessarily, like, feel terrible. My nose was hella stuff, but, like... I was just like my brain just started overthinking it. And I'm just like, bro, like, what if this is the time or whatever? Anyway, I go, I go to sleep. I wake up. I go back to sleep, and I don't remember this, but my mom said that early in the morning, like, I was like gasping for air, and I like bursted out of the room and like ran to the kitchen. And she was like, "Are you okay?" And I tried to like play it off like it was fine. I don't even remember this happening at all. Ooh. And this was like, jeez, you could have been just like sleepwalking. But I think I might have like some weird sleep apnea thing where like I don't breathe well in my sleep. Let me tell you something, House Phone, on some real shit. Like you said, you said you watch your mom help decline and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Imagine what would happen if something was to happen to you. That'll yeah. fucking kill your mom, bro. So yeah. you gotta think about that shit before you do any coke or put your life in jeopardy, or anything. And realistically, yeah. if you fucking if you've probably already taken years off your life realistically sure, and i mean sure. i could probably say the same thing about myself yeah, too but, like, but yeah. i mean you know that's just like something to think about because i see people when they're like in their 60s in their 70s and there's their health really starts catching up with them and i'm like damn you could have prevented it and in, in my head it's like damn like should i even be smoking backwards and shit like that even that's a big choice when you see a motherfucker who's old as hell dying from lung cancer and you're like well i'm definitely not doing myself any favors any in that favors, regard yeah. and, and bro i was in the back of the paramedics and all i kept thinking about is like damn my nigga like i'm young i got kids and this is like this is a way that i'm about to go out yeah. or potentially go out it's a fact, and i was bro. like my last day on earth was fucking turned up on a party bus getting drunk as hell turning the fuck up that like, sounds nah. like you don't want to die a party boy Nah, no. When you're 60, yeah. It's okay. just like, it's just so much that can happen. It's just so dangerous. And I just really like, even though like nothing really happened, but just like hearing, hearing this, hearing like, you know, my mom tell me that. And I don't even remember that. And just like, I don't know. I've just been like, just having a series. Like, even like, I remember I was driving, like, fuck, I shouldn't be saying this, but like, I was driving back home. Just <laughs> it's a like, bell type story. I was driving back home so fucked up. I was driving back home so fucked up, it literally felt like an earthquake or something was happening. I was like literally swaying back and forth as I was driving. Oh my oh God. My God. And I was just thinking, like, I saw two people that were pulled over on the side of the road. And I thought to myself, I'm like, if I get pulled over right now, I started almost having an anxiety attack as I was driving. Because I was like, if I get pulled over right now, my whole life is about to go to shit. Mm -hmm. I'm drunk as fuck. I got drugs on me. I will get a DUI and there's a gun in the trunk. What Oof. the fuck am I like? I'm, my whole life is going to be over. And you could have bageled somebody. I wasn't going to bagel anybody, but like, bagel is a uh, dog that he ran over and killed. It's a really sensitive response, oh, AD. Oh, damn. He's sharing this, bearing his soul, and AD's like, I killed a dog. You did kill a dog, though. <laughs> Were you drunk when you killed a dog? Nah. Okay. Yeah, right. Anyway, I, I, just, I just wanted to have that talk with you guys because I, I love you guys yeah, so you much. Gotta, I just wanted, yeah, I mean, and honestly, AD story just made me want to fucking tell my own, you know? As you somebody who used to get fucked up and now doesn't get fucked up, let me tell you, I don't feel like I'm missing anything. Nah. I feel like 
I don't know what the fuck my life would be like right now if I kept getting fucked up the way that I used to get fucked up. I don't know, man. It's like, this is just, I don't know. At a certain, and it's the best thing I have going. I always think about like, you know, like there was one time where I was doing this hood vlog and somebody offered me coke and I'm just thinking like, I'm going home after this. If I do coke right now, I'm not going to go I'm going to feel real good for like a half hour and then realistically we're going to keep doing it. But like, I'm going to feel real good for a little while and then I'm going to start feeling like shit. And I'm going to still feel like shit in the morning. And it's like, why would I do that to myself when if I don't do the coke, I feel totally fine. And then the next day I'm going to feel fine. And yeah. you know, I already feel fine. You can be productive. You're Like when you do drugs or alcohol, you're like trying to fill something in your whole in your life or your personality. You drink, you're doing it because you're going to be in the club with all these girls. And you want to make it fun and easy for you to fucking talk to them. If you do coke, it's like you're making yourself or making life seem more interesting. And it's like... Uh, you reach a certain point where you're like, well, maybe I'm already as interesting as I need to be, and I yeah. can just be yeah. whatever the fuck I am now. Mm -hmm. I Stop agree. bobbing your head. You know you're going to get fucking annihilated this weekend. Mm -mm. I don't think so. No? Nah. After having that experience, bro, honestly. I'm not going to stop, but, but I'm going to definitely like cut, cut that shit. For, yeah, sure, for sure, for sure. You should and I'm not dr drinking no energy drinks. You should either. drink as much as you need to facilitate the fact that you're obviously only drinking to get some ass. And I don't mean that in like a get her drunk kind of way. I just mean like, oh, get yourself she drunk. wants she wants to see you drinking a couple of drinks so that she knows that you're a cool guy. All right, drink a couple of drinks. Yeah. You don't need to like push your body to the limits. Yeah. And you go, you give into the peer pressure. I haven't seen you do it with drinking because yeah. you're always the person drinking the most here. But with <laughs> yeah. weed, yeah. the comments, some fucking fourteen year old kid in Oklahoma will be like, "You're a <laughs> hit pussy. The hit the blunt." And you're all of a sudden like, "Where's the blunt at? Roll me a blunt." <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, but that's like hood nigga mentality. Like, oh, you don't you don't believe I'll do it? I'll do it. But see, that's 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 we, Macho Chad. That's <laughs> Chad energy. Macho man, Randy. That's right? Chad energy. Yeah. But see, like, me and my friends, we're like challenge drinkers. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Yo, that's the bad idea. Yeah. That's bad. And, like, it could be water right there, and whoever grabs a water bottle first, it'd be like, pussy. Oh, my God. That's if the anybody, worst thing I've ever heard. If anybody I'm tried to challenge you, me, if anybody tried to challenge me to, like, do more coke than them, I would be like, get the fuck out of my face. You're yeah. not going to, like, make me... Have yeah, a heart attack. Heart attack. Yeah. yeah, like what the fuck? Doesn't the hangover make you not want to drink though? But I don't really get hangovers. Oh, oh, damn. I drink now after college. Mm -hmm. Tequila, if, tequila. Don't did you drink, drink in college though? A lot. Yeah, a lot. Obviously, I just I I can't even do it now. I'm hungover for like three days. Yeah, damn. you're yeah, so do young to be saying that, but that is definitely how I feel. How old are you? Yeah. Uh, I'm 24. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, lucky, honestly, some of the worst alcoholics I've known in my whole life, like worse than AD, uh, have basically like. Stop drinking because a doctor at one point like told them that they needed to stop, or because they started having these three day hangovers and they, they just Bro, actually had to stop. How often do you see me drink? Because usually on Fridays you don't see me drink. You show I up don't in the morning, drink on Tuesdays. He shows up in the morning with a shot glass. Hey, how's it no, going? No. He's saying he's just saying yeah, that know, his observation because he watches my stories, but him personally, he barely ever sees me drink. Yeah, that's fair. Actually, <laughs> no, I've created yeah. you yeah. as this drunk in my head. Yes.